Hi Jim, it's Myrna here. Um, just going to show you how to upload that uh, squeeze page, an opt-in page. So in the back office of your blog where you've uploaded Optimize Press, you come to All Pages and add a new page. In there you type the title in here but it's okay because it doesn't show up anywhere, it doesn't show up on the page so it's alright. This is just so you know which opt-in page it is. Okay. Now if you want to look at all the templates you can look through them here and it gives you samples of what each one looks like but basically the one that I've just used is Squeeze 01 you come right down here to Squeeze 01 all right and when you come up here all I do is type my heading here make sure that your heading is um, tells them what you're offering or suggests a problem for you to solve you highlight it and you can select formatting here heading 1 just like you do when you're writing a blog, change the colour, that sort of thing. Okay, so then you come down here to probably the biggest thing. The only other thing, you can insert a, a logo or a heading if you want to. You just activate it and then upload the URL if you want to put an actual heading up the top. But the only other thing I do is just add in the autoresponder, which goes in here, squeeze form options. And you go to autoresponder, and you've once you've created your autoresponder um, web form, you get the office of your web forms where you've created there. So you get the code that goes into your optimized press from here. You make sure you grab the raw version, and you just copy all of this, and then add it into this box here. And make sure that these email they've got show ticked here and come down here and just click enter or just click it and it will enter any hidden fields which is usually the pages that um, you want them to go to after they opt in the hidden fields and make sure that these are populated here as well and then you come up here and we'll just save a draft also you and have a preview and let's have a look at what it looks like. That should inc that includes then your Aweber form. So that includes this here and you've got a pi you can also upload a picture or a heading here as well. Okay so we'll go back to here. If you wanted to upload a photo in here you just do the same as you do like your normal blog and you go and you add media. You find the file, that, the picture that you want to insert, click show insert it into the post and there you go it pops it in there so then when you publish it I'll save draft and preview it you have your heading and your preview and you have the heading and to the right you'll have the there you go so you've got your text there your picture there and then a call to action basically in the, in there telling them what to do okay so hopefully that so make sure when you're down here, you go to opt-in, autoresponders, and that puts that in there so that you've already got that. If you've got, if you don't, and then down here, you can select an image to upload, which is your buy now or continue, download, add to cart. You just click the one that you want, and then you come right down to the bottom and you click use selected image. And then come up again and save and preview and that inserts the call to action button there. Come over here and preview it. Refresh it. And that will insert the call to action button there. Okay. So in here again, just type what you want back at the start. Type, type your um, offering or your problem or the solution make this relevant to the ad that you have and include right down here at the bottom your opt-in and squeeze pages. Okie doke. Also make sure just when you're doing this that these settings here, squeeze page, are the same as squeeze page 01 here because there are others down here you can have sales page and if you put the opt-in on the wrong page it just doesn't work. So this has to be congruent with the one that you're working on. Hope that makes sense for you. Okay, um, let me know if you need a hand with anything else. And then you just save and publish and that's got everything done for you. 
the link that you use then in your um, emails and is the link that comes up up the top here. Okay, hopefully that's helpful.